So guys, you've seen from the walk around the design language of this Mahindra Scorpio is amazing. We stepped inside, we saw what kind of quality it has, space, convenience, comfort, and now it's time to see if this particular car is capable both on and off. So we start this particular road test by checking out the engine. So basically, this particular engine, it's called the m -Hawk. It is a traditional engine done by Mahindra, and it's called the m -Hawk because that is how their nomenclature is. It's a 2.2 liter four cylinder, 16 valve turbo diesel that produces 140 horsepower and 320 newton meters of torque, which is sent to the four wheels courtesy of either a five speed manual or a five speed automatic. If you decide to just drop a gear down, <laughs> it pulls and pulls because the turbo kicks in at a very low RPM actually 1750 rpm to be precise and the torque band pulls all the way to 4000 rpm making it a high revving engine that's full of torque and it's turbocharged and intercooled so performance doesn't wear out as you go along now i love the fact that, that this particular chassis it's a box standard chassis that you also find on the pickup and on the mahindra scorpio uh, the station wagon and it's a sturdy chassis because it is able to handle all this power and all this torque of course, up front you do have double wish points. At the back you do have leaf springs that actually helps in carrying the weight of the vehicle and of course your all your luggage and of course keep the car planted both on and off road. And, and what I like about Mahindra is they have actually used long stroke tapered leaf springs that allows this car to have a very comfortable ride both on and off road. It doesn't feel like it is all over the place. It's not bouncy, but the way they've designed it designed to handle the African terrain. Safety is a critical component in any pickup. And what this particular pickup has been done is that Mahindra have enhanced the safety features of this particular car to ensure that you and your passengers remain safe at any given time. You have a mixture of active and passive safety features that prevent you from having an accident. So from the active front, you do have anti-lock braking system with brake assist, which basically prevents you from locking the wheels during an emergency and you're able to swerve to avoid an object. And brake assist gives enough brake force so that you're able to stop effectively reducing your braking distance. But in case solar brakes loose, then you can rely on the dual airbags that come as standard in this particular vehicle, crumple zones, and of course this safety belt. You do have uh, seat anchors, child seat anchors on the rear seat so that you're able to tie down your baby seat so that they can remain safe while in this particular vehicle. So it's time for us to take the Mahinda Scorpio off the road. Now, like we had mentioned, we have a 2.2 turbo diesel m -Hawk engine. And it's, of course, mated now to our part-time four-wheel drive system. So before we do some off-roading over here, I'm going to switch the system into four high. Because I think at the moment, that's all I require. This specific car has been fitted out with mud terrain tires. Very aggressive tread pattern. So I should be able to get this thing through any terrain that I feel like. 210 millimeters of ground clearance is more than enough to do the kind of off-roading we're about to do right now. But let me just take you through its paces so that we can see what it's capable of doing. Very good approach angle, very good departure and breakover angles. And like we mentioned, this engine is actually powerful enough to give you all the grants that you require when you're going off the road. So one thing I like about this brand new engine is the fact that it is incredibly smooth. So power delivery, of course, is very predictable, which is something that you need when you're off the road. And as you can see, we are just walking through this course right now. What we are doing today is just basically mimicking what somebody would do if they were going to the Shamba, to check out the site, to check out their people. And of course, this is going to handle this very, very well. No hill descent control. Uh, that is obviously up to you. Put this thing in fast gear, low range, and it should also be able to take you into and out of anywhere that you need to go. So I have to say, this is actually a very good off-road vehicle. 